Hey, this is Jay from A Stitch in Time, back for a quick lesson on how to convert our shapes for our scan and cut, our FCM files, into embroidery designs that can be used on our embroidery machines. And so to do this, I'm going to go over to my scan and cut um, uh, portion here, and I just created these two random shapes, and I made them overlap because I want to show you how, the, how to work this. It's very important. And then I downloaded it as an FCM file to my computer went back to PE Design 11 and I went up here to scan and cut and import. I need to import these designs. Now it's right here but just in case you don't know where to look for it if you click this little folder it'll let you scroll through your computer to find out where it is. Now my computer Chrome automatically downloads it to the downloads folder but you may have yours set up differently. And so I'm going to click on that and click on import and close and there I have my two shapes. Now, when I go to do this, I need to ungroup these. And so I can do that by right-clicking on it and ungrouping them so that when I select on one, it only selects that one. It doesn't select both of them. Okay? So they come in grouped because they're obviously shaped in a certain way, and you want to be careful when you do this that you could be shifting these things around. So just be cautious with that when you're clicking your mouse that you're not sliding it around. Now, how do I turn this into, instead of just a line, how do I turn this into fill stitches? Well, it's really easy. If you look up here in the top, there, when you, when you select one, so you have these black handles around it, you go up to Shapes, and here is where we control that. Now, right now, all there is is just a single running stitch around it, and there's nothing sewn in the middle. If I want to change that and fill that with a regular fill stitch, boom. There I have it. My stitches are all filled up there. And let's say I want to change this from a just a single line to a satin stitch. Well, I can change the running stitch to a zigzag, and there it is. And you can also change how you want your points. You know, so if you want them kind of squarish there, or if you want the long skinny point, you can choose that over here on the right hand side. Now I simply select this one over here, but instead of doing a regular just a fill stitch, I can do this with uh, something fun. I can go to programmable fill stitch. And there is one that comes up. If you want to change that, you can come over here to the right side, scroll down to where it says Programmable Fill, open up the little folder, and select something different. You want a diamond plate pattern look? You can just click on that, and there you go. Now, it's a little hard to see that on here because it's such a small one, but we can do something like this, and you'll understand that much clearer. It's a, it's a prettier pattern. Now let's say on this one I don't want that border stitch. Well I can simply go up here to my running stitch and say no sew line and it takes it away. There's nothing there. Or I can also go in here and say I want a motif stitch. And again it's going to put this nice motif around here and you can go over here on the right side where it has the line sewing. You can open up this motif and you can choose something different. There's a whole bunch of fun designs you can put in here and so that you can make it whatever size you want and, and you can change that so that you can make it look really cool. Now one of the things you got to really be careful about is that I have a solid fill here and I have a solid fill here and it's, if you look on the left hand side it's doing this big solid fill pattern here and a big solid fill pattern here and this if you do too much of this, you're going to make this bulletproof. You're going to have lots of problems with shredding thread and breaking thread and that sort of stuff. And so you need to make sure that you remove some of these overlaps. And the way you do that is you go up here to your home screen and I need to select just this orange and just this orange here, okay? Because they're the two that are separate. So the way I do that is I deselect everything and I select just the orange over here. Then I hold down the control key and select the other orange, okay? So now it's got both of them. I go to my home tab and there's this oh I take that back. I gotta I gotta do it, I gotta do it a different way. I can select everything by dragging a box around it. So I select all all the shapes there. The shapes are connected. And then it says up here it says modify overlap. Well, what do I want to do with the overlap? Well, I can merge them together, but I don't really want them. I want them kept as two separate units. But the other this is where you want to do S remove overlap. When I click that, it looks like nothing changes. But if you look at this design up here, there's a little corner whacked off here. And watch what happens when I pull this. I'm going to select this one, and I pull it away. 
notice how it cut this off so it's no longer solid stitches and I believe that let me just double check here and yeah it'll still do that motif fill behind there but it removes that heavy stitching so that's a big important thing to keep in mind when you're doing this well that's your little tip for the day for PE Design 11 a quick way of taking your scan and cut files that you may have scanned in from the internet or a neat graphic that you really like and you want to turn it into a design it's very easy to do that have fun and stop in and say hi